Hey! Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Bound and Broken, The Western Way, this time featuring no Jarzu whatsoever. Special episode. A special episode. Special episode, lack Fe of a Jarzu. Featuring he's, no toes. He's getting his head waxed. No the, jar. Because he's getting his head waxed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got sick of the like tiny little kiwi hairs that used to grow, so he's just, he's just waxing it, polishing it off. Do they do that? Do people do that? Get their heads I have waxed? no idea. That, that would I think so, right? Funny. I feel like that would be omega painful. I don't know. I just think of the Spongebob episode where he has like the thing they use to like clean ice rinks and he uses it on Squidward's head. <laughs> That's... Anyway, who would like yes. to give yep. the recap? I do the recap. Wow! Wow! Alright. Alright, go ahead. So, last time on Bound and Broken, we finally managed to kill some pathetic knights of Metheria. All of them, successfully, without any of us going down. It was very glorious. After that, we took all their heads and possessions, me personally taking a longbow, where I suddenly remembered I have training in. Uh, looking through the caravan, they ambushed previously, finding uh, a champion stone. Something I've never seen before, but Weaver seemed very excited. So, he can have the rock. So, we also found a letter in Kalkateshian, which was sent by someone named uh, Iltanen, uh, inviting to some kind of battle arena, to watch or to participate. Sad sadly, the um, person who was supposed to receive this will probably not attend. Uh, Iltan and somebody I only heard of in stories as a myth, a great warrior, one might say the greatest who has ever lived, seems to be somehow still alive. Or maybe it was a forgery. Hard to tell if you don't know what a signature of a person really looks like. Well, after I read it to everyone, and everyone made their guesses on what this is for or for who, uh, we salvaged the last pieces, and uh, we were decided to attune to the stone, knowing apparently what it does, or what's for. So, that's his to deal with. Simon takes some of the heads from these people for his own business, and... Caspian takes the rest as we make our way back to the City of Glass to get the bounties for what was promised. Inspiration for you. Making my way downtown, hide of Vitska and his homebound. Wow. Did I miss you? Because I killed you. Da -da 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 -da. And now I'm Irish. Pog Mahone. Eat my head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes we hit it. We hit that flow, and it's very good. Is it we or you? Whip, 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 whip. No, there's a spiritual connection. Whenever somebody says something in the Discord, and I hear Arcade himself mutter, "By a lonely prison wall," <laughs> <laughs> or when somebody somebody says, "It's like, it's like." <laughs> Where are you? And I'm so sorry! Like, I, I was like about a, to say... I have a chimp brain, dude, when I hear shit like that. <laughs> like, this is the, uh, the Irish version of that. Yeah. The or, season or, two. Or, or when somebody says, um, you know, it's been one week since you looked at me. <laughs> no, no. Uh, the trigger word. Backstreet boys. Fucking Discord thing along <laughs> earlier. I said earlier, it was like Friday night, I think. Oh dear. It was awful. Hearing like 13 people sing disconnected from a bunch of different places in the world was... Wait, terrifying. when does it happen? On oh, community Friday night? night. Yeah. Friday night? Yeah, yeah, it was like 4am for me, so... God. So when the karaoke takes place. It's dangerous yeah, it's when I, if I ever manage to attend that, it's 5am here. I might actually sing something. Ew. In German. 
In German. Oh, God. Because at 5 a.m., my English, not present anymore. Alrighty, here we go. Alrighty. The party travels to the jungles of the Misted Lands, back towards the City of Glass. <laughs> uh, their journey back is more or less uneventful, as they are covered in blood, and they are putting off a powerful aura of I'd like to see you fucking try. Therefore, exactly. the various animals keep their distance, except one who gets closer and closer, and they cannot see it. And then, finally, they reach the City of Glass once more. That was concerning aeration. Hmm. Thank Only you. Only minorly autonomous. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, autonomous. what was that? Uh, Only so minorly autonomous. I'm sorry, your chamber. Is, <laughs> I'm sorry, your chamber needs a critical update. Please. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, be, oh, yeah. Why don't we translate it to English? I got the counterpart is not here. Oh, go home. However, Silver Siege, being a Northern Irishman, received the update first. Therefore, it doesn't have any problems. Yeah. I should have got my own fucked up firmware. <laughs> Lauren should have left him dead. <laughs> he didn't know. He didn't know wow. he was reviving. Lauren didn't want to have to deal with my <laughs> Lord, the afterlife. Lauren should have left him <laughs> dead. He should have. <laughs> she had. That guy has died. I don't want him in your. Lonely Adams you. planted a bomb in my mom's dickens. <laughs> oh. oh man. I'm sorry, Siege. I love you. <laughs> I like okay, how you. Well. I like how you guys. It's like um, it's like one of those old novels of, of two star-crossed lovers across like battlefield lines, <laughs> oh and God. it's just. I'm sorry, Siege. I can't be bros. <laughs> Looks away. Hair caught in the wind. Kissing and making up. No, okay. Oh so why right, not right. be hoes? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Calm down, Cyber, with your yow. No, no. You see. Do you see what they're doing before you join this channel? This is crazy. Oh, alright. Talking about Big Ring Gertha having a tram stamp of oh, a Ouija dude, board to talk to the fucking... Dude, <laughs> what if they were cybernetic while they were kissing? What if they were wolves? Like wolves. Mm -hmm. Wolves I can the, get behind. The cyberpunk future we all want. Okay, enough of that fucking around. Alright, you get to the City of Glass, what do you do? Do it now. Tell me. And Three seconds. Three, uh, two, I have a mental one. breakdown. Random thing selected. <laughs> Fane is now mayor. What are you doing next? How do you solve the hunger problem? I cast good berry and force the entire city into community. You overtap the mana in order to feed them with good berry. Boom, you're fired from mayor. <laughs> 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 according to plan. He's struggling with, with his good berry plan. I murder half of them, so they need less food. There you go. While we're doing that, I would like to roll Mark. to slut shame Lorne. I would like to <laughs> slut shame the god, one of the, the god of Jesus, the Duke of Decay. I would like to slut shame him. The Duke of that's, Decay. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, it's crazy. Yuck if anyone could do that, it's the LC. All right. So you, what cool. we wanted so guys, to do was enter the. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say, um, you get to the city of glass, you can turn in the bounty for the was a fifteen hundred gold. Um, unfortunately, there's a major scene with fulfilling his contract that Caspian did, but his player isn't here, so. So they message him a week later, out of convenience. Well, I'll, I'll. What I'm probably gonna do is just gonna have the assassins follow you and like talk to you outside of the city because it's safer. For them, I oh, guess. Yes. I, I don't. It's Have the, it, the assassins. I don't. I, I, I do. Not, I do not want Jarzu to miss um, that no. interaction. But thankfully, it's a little more open on how I can make that happen. So I can just change it around a little bit, just so that you guys are aware. They're gonna talk mm -hmm. to you outside of the city to to accommodate that. But do we get the bounty uh, before this conversation takes place? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the problem, right? <laughs> so what's going to happen is is that um, Caspian will receive a missive uh, containing the the payment, um, which will be split amongst the party members. 
uh, but with the indication that he is to meet them outside of the city, which, you know, will happen when he's here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, mm-hmm. cons- so continue about whatever it is you guys want to do, even if it's traveling to the south. Um, the, the assassins will catch up, and they'll they'll be here when Caspian is here. Well, Before we sell off the gems and silks, I want to go to any form of administration to see if they actually are waiting for any shipments. Oh, you want to go to the administration? Oh, no. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. <clears throat> well, you find yourself waiting in a line, Weaver. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee! God. Weren't you complaining about that last week? That's I, crazy. I was. <laughs> but you, inv- you brought this here. <laughs> but much like Heidevitzka, it has now taken over grown. my brain. <laughs> ah, yes. Coca-Cola your self-made, your self-made hell. Did you guys hear how she said hell? That was funny. Hell. 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 See, she wanted to say hi. Is he, he's trying to distract from him making himself suffer by um, shit talking me nonstop. Uh, but yeah, I would uh, nonstop, huh? Nonstop. We do anything important in the city? Yeah. I would pull the party to them to see uh, if they're waiting for any uh, shipments of silks and gems. Uh, that's a good idea. Jupiter uh, don't know why any of us didn't think about it earlier. I mean, to be fair, if no one is, then we can just sell them. But if they are, we'd probably get paid as the couriers ourselves. Oh, true. And... Hmm, never. That's a point. Plus, the dueling swords, the letter, and the, uh... That stone you got. I think they were for someone further up, so... I don't think we could really pawn them off unless... They're not oh, they're going to open them. Fair enough. Just manual capable hands. Huh? I leave them in ca- Are you okay? Elsie, are you having a stroke right now? Uh, called Amp- <laughs> No, I just um, got a <laughs> <laughs> We need a doctor over here. No. You're calling for a cleric? <laughs> I can give you a hand. No, I want a PhD. I'm not that kind, you filthy fuckers. Yes, nearly oh. six foot six. Those she are two separate measurements. Problem. Anyway. Oh Anywho. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so Weaver goes and stands in line. What do the rest of you guys do? I'm gonna do something outrageous. I'm gonna find suckles. Okay. Uh, you will find suckles at the meat bucket. Perfect. As you come up Wait. into the meat bucket, you will see that he is currently conversing with several other skinwalkers. There is a cat like person there who seems quite timid and is wearing a hood. Probably a new arrival, still not used to displaying who they truly are uh, in an open sense. There is another skinwalker. Uh, This one appears to have scales on his wrists. Um, He looks as if he is less, uh, what would you say, less blooded than the others. His skinwalker presence very, very little. But still, he is speaking and they seem to be consoling this newcomer cat-like man. As you enter, however, Suckles will immediately throw both hands into the air into a jebbing motion, and then will start pointing at you and whispering to his friends. He will wave you down and beckon you over. I'll do a mildly uncomfortable expression and walk over. Hey. As you approach, you will then hear Suckles say, uh, this, this, this is Mazakeen right here. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Look, she's the prime example, right? Prime example of how you can be who you want to be. I mean, look at her. The small cat-like person will look up from underneath his hood towards Mazakeen and will give a small smile. The scaled skinwalker will pat him on the back. 
Yeah, that's right. That's this good boy right there. See? Look at that lady. See, you'd be just like her. Just like us. You don't gotta hide who you are anymore. Go ahead, take your hood off. Get relaxed. It's gonna be fine. And so the cat man, being convinced, will take his hood backwards and let it droop behind him. And as he does so, you will see that he has a distinct white fur over his body with a single black stripe down the middle. Uh, he will smile, his fangs ever present, showing that he is in hybrid form. And he might be one of the skinwalkers that can't easily shift. Probably why he's so hooded. Suckles will then look towards Mazikeen and will say, What brings you to the meat bucket, Mazikeen? Do you want to share another meatball special? No, I was actually asking, or wondering more or less, what are you doing here all day? In this city, I mean. Well, I, I live here. And I, I, I work here. Do? Oh! Oh, I, I work at the fishery. That's actually unsurprising. Shark man working in the water area? Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, has any of you ever, like, fought in any battles? Any martial prowess? Where have you all- did you come from here, or did you come from the other side of the mountain to find refuge here? Well, I'm from Kalkatesh, Suckle starts up. Uh, I really wasn't a warrior or anything. I mean, I, I was trained to be a militiaman, but I, I don't like fighting. You know, it, uh, it's distasteful. But that being said, you know, I guess I could handle myself, maybe. I've never really been in a real fight before, only sparring, but I did pretty good in those. Um, Taxier, he, he, was a, he was a fighter. Nah, 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 I was a duelist, mate. I was a duelist. There's a difference. I, you know, I didn't fight in wars or anything like that. I, I fought men for money uh, in one-on-ones for nobles because what they got two small arms and uh, too uh, cowardly chicken-hearted to do it themselves but yeah I can handle myself in a fight I mm. the the small cat man says I know that magic did you hear that Mazakin he's like you well magic is always good it's a bit dangerous here. Well, not in this city, but on the other side. Not that well thing. Anyways, I was wondering, since we just got back to the city, uh, and we found some church people, some Metharians, from the other side that came here, probably should be good to get yourself a bit more prepared should they actually reach the city. They'll look kind of worriedly at each other, and then Suckles will say, Well, we'll, we'll do what we can. How close were they? Are you okay? Yeah, of course. They're all dead now. Tax will uh, look over at you and kind of smile a toothy, serrated crocodile grin, and will say, How many of them were there? Any of them decent scrapping? Was like it at least six. a good fight? It was. Nice. You've encountered them times before. These were obviously not as well prepared, considering the environment they were in, but still concerning that they were here in the first place. Uh, well, they're not only just there, you know. They're way at the south, too, and that their uh, port or whatever, the pier, the graveyard, whatever. Exactly. That's where we're gonna go to next. Oh, really? You're going there, huh? Mm-hmm. Time somebody deals with it. After. Uh, agreed. I barely made it out of there alive myself. Now you've been there. Yep, I have. Any particular reason you've been there? Well, it's, uh, it's how I got to the Misted Lands. I came up to oh, the you water. Came... Yeah. I didn't know that it was going to be a graveyard or whatever the hell it is when I got there. So when I got there, I had to sneak through this foggy place uh, full of all sorts of poor bastardized souls underneath the church's yoke. 
I was able to slip through the lines and I ran as fast as I could straight up here to the City of Glass. But I saw some things while I was down there. I don't know if it'll be of any help to you. There's a couple things I noticed. First, the fog there's unnatural. Like, it's really thick. And it doesn't make sense for it to be foggy, I eh? So, really thick fog. Um, there's also these braziers. Big, uh, white flames coming out of them. I think they were empowering the Metharians. I'm not really sure, but they seem to be guarding them awfully well. Uh, and the last thing, there was one fellow walking around there. Biggest knight I've ever seen. He with had, a mask, with an expression. Ah, uh, yeah, he had like a almost like a sleepy face, I think, or something mm. like that. Yes, I'm familiar with that one. I'll admit I didn't get a very good look at the face, but the night was huge. So you say the braziers were empowering them? I and think like so. Physical prowess, or? Sorry, Could you I'm, tell any difference? I'm no mage, and I didn't fight anybody. I just think they're yeah. important, so you should probably keep an eye out for them. Well, thank you. That's very good to know. I'm trying to help where I can. Better. Indeed. But as you told our cat friend over here, you should probably be more proud of who you are, you know? Show it proudly. Tax will nod. Suckles will then tap the table. Oh, Mazakin, come on. If you're going to be going off to go fight the church again, you should have a, a good meal with us. Make sure you're nice and fit and ready. Mm. I should meet up with the others. Again. Oh, come on, Mazakin. Please. And he'll, uh. hit you, he'll hit you with the shark eyes. Oh, God. Fine. Yay! Everybody yays at the table. They order a big, shareable bucket of meat balls and meat whelp. Just, just, just a meat bucket. But keep in mind, though, I wouldn't mind getting a group together and training a bit. You know? Fighting without weapons. Whatever. Ta Tax will kind of lean over. So you wanted to, like... Like, train a bunch of people? Yeah. Like, make, like, a mercenary group or something? Like a school, yeah. maybe? Have people be ready here for when the trouble comes. After all, it's rare to see so many skinwalkers in one place, isn't it? That's true. There's more of us here than anywhere else in Corvanus. Exactly. What, what do you think, Suckles? Oh, I think Mazakin's a genius. I think that's a great idea. But who's going to teach us to fight? Well, you already got an expert duelist here, don't we? Tax will kind of scratch the back of his neck. Oh, I, I made a good living, but I'm, I wasn't the best. You know, honestly, if, if we really want to get somebody, we should talk to Yozin. And then he'll look over to, um, to Suckles. And Suckles will kind of nod. I mean, yeah, but he doesn't, he doesn't really come out anymore. That old man is real mad all the time. And then Taz will look over, uh, or Tax will look over and say, that's true, that's true. But he's a far superior swordsman than me, I, um, I think that um, if you really wanted to get somebody to teach people how to fight, probably him if you can convince him. And he lives up on the northern side of the city all by himself. Hmm. I'll pay him a visit then. No, you I'm all not. tell some people that we're getting somebody together. Then I'll see if I can convince him to join. Suckles will clap his hands. Ooh, ooh, I'll tell everyone! Well, keep it to, well, skinwalkers, alright? Yeah, right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell, I'll tell all the people that share our racial bounds. You <laughs> have huh? some weird look. <laughs> the sleeper agent in Suckles has been activated. Stops eating, looks over. He just looks over slowly at the camera. 
But anyway, uh. um, they will eat some meat, and Suckles will promise to tell only the Skidwalkers and inform them. And uh, do you join the Mazakine for a nice meal? I I do. And you guys share a nice meal. You see, you see the hearts of each of the three NPCs fill up slightly. <laughs> oh God. Except Suckles. It's already full. You're his best friend. Ugh. He doesn't even remember the money he wanted to get me. (laughs) That radio. He doesn't doesn't remember a lot of things. I had a feeling. Alright. Let's see. Simon, you're going to collect your Yeezys. Yes. But I have something to show you. Give me one second. You have something to show me? Yeah, big boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Colossus so much. There you have it. Barty Varge. Oh my god. Did you, Did you make, make a map? map? For the party bar? Uh, it's, it's not finished, but it's the base. Oh! Yeah. yeah. He made it. Okay, hold on. This was this was not a map that I ordered, but... Alright. No, it's for, uh, for, for Lander. Oh, yes. Oh, it's for Lander. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> My friend. Hold on, hold on. I'm loading, I'm loading the fucking thing. Uh, let's see. It's such a waste I cannot be with him. You know? Oh, God. I will admit, I thought he was going to be a throwaway character. Now he's become a namestay in this fucking campaign, dude. As he should be. I hate him. You see, if Frozes ever disappears, he's gonna be the important NPC <laughs> for our planet. Wait, does that mean Landry's gonna stick his tongue out up in the sky? <laughs> this, this oh, thing. Let me, oh, yes. me demand these, these pretty ladies. <laughs> I'd sure it would be nice if I just kind of. Um... It's okay. I have preemptively put our kid at 40%. Life is good. Lander terrifies me. I just realized I have to name the party barge. I just named it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like Elsie's kiss or something. Like Lander Ahoy. Land ho. Land hoes. Yep. That makes sense. Almost done. Two seconds. I just gotta get to the players. I gotta drop the right tokens on there. Where is Simon? There is Simon. And where the fuck did I? Yeah, put don't that? don't rush art. Yeah. Where did I put that lander? Fucking I'm here, man. <laughs> you want me to make a fancy token for it? Sure. I need sure, to ask Waymaker to send sure, me the art. Be sure to make it as gross as possible. Exactly. not fit on the token square because he's so fucking fat there we go just like me here we go bam say that about yourself I hate him if you do I'm gonna come over to Oklahoma and cuddle you uh, extra difficultly I don't know what the fuck I said there so fuck off (laughs) okay (laughs) I'm gonna explode. Like he's like explode. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Lander's Party Barge, the Soppy Handshake. Oh god. It looks really cool. It does. Oh yeah. This is this is the aesthetic I assumed it would be. I feel it. I feel it next time. 
All right. As you approach Simon, you will see Lander, and he will give you a big smile. Simon, my boy. How's it my going? My friend, I have returned. I'm victorious. Victorious, huh? Did you get my stuff? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm very. Uh, 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 yeah. Did you, um, how was the fight? Was it good? Yeah, there. Any troubles uh, that you ran into? Any guy, um... I think just one guy. He was nice. refused, refusing to die. Or give up. Nice, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. That's, that's pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to take him here, but he didn't want. Well, I had a rough night last night. Sorry, I'm not as um, chipper as I normally am. I just, uh... Here we go. It's all right, man. <sighs> you party all night. I did. I partied very hard. Um, but it's good to see that you're back. So, did you want, um, oh, let me get you what you wanted, yeah? Mm, you did the thing yeah. for me. Now I'll do the thing for you. Um, um, hold on, let me find where they are. I got them in here somewhere. He'll reach into his pants. Ah, uh, there they are. <laughs> Kept right next to the most important jewels. Here you are, Simon. Freshly coated in a protective film. Alright. So I'm just gonna do a little. It's gonna run in circles. Nice. Look at me go. You're so. fast. Ugh. Oh. Dance. Hey. Hey, um, Simon. Yes. I had a question for you. Yeah. you think that there's an afterlife like a like a reward or punishment at the end of things or if we're just dead we're just dead and nothing mattered anyway I've been thinking about that a lot ever since you know I almost overdosed Oh man. Well, we have we only have one life, or two, like me. But I don't think there's nothing that we can regret. We can just live our lives as full as we can. At least how that's how I do it. I could die in any moment, but at least I could say I leave, like I wanted. And that's uh, what I admire about you, also, Lander. That's true. To live your life to the fullest. That's You're true. filled to the fullest. That's true. You're big to the fullest. That's right. I'm huge. I think. Yes. I think ultimately, when it comes down to that, I think truly, it's it's better to live hedonistically because. Death can come for us at any moment, and I would like to be as satisfied with my life. Yet I can't help but wonder if that there is some kind of judge or punishment, punishment or reward or whatever. If there's a life to be had after the life we possess here, then surely it would be best to prepare for that. But then you'd sacrifice this life to prepare for that one 
an interesting conundrum. Yeah. It's like you have to choose. And furthermore... I choose to live now. Yeah. What is to say that the life after this one isn't also a life before a next one? And then you're preparing for that life and you end up not living though you've lived many lives. I'm... That's also true. But where's the fun in that? Yeah. Maybe it's better to... to live to the fullest and then to die satisfied and deal with whatever comes next. Exactly. We don't have a lot of to do. We can only control a few things. That's true. And we, yeah. We do the best that we can with the things we have. The friends, the lives, the family, the fathers, the leaves. But let's not think about that. Let's just try to live your life, make a new one. Experience everything. Mm. At least uh, that's how I live. I don't. I don't let the church, um, although they make me horrible things. They make me feel paranoid for all the trouble, all the trouble that I did to get to here, all the friends they kill. Those things still haunts me, but. I don't let them win. I understand what you mean. I'm still haunted by what happened to me all those years ago in Sephira. It's why I live out here in the West. Oh, you are true, they say. Did I ever tell you that? I don't think I did. Mm. No. I was once a noble in Sephira when I was a younger man. I, I was on the council. My father was so proud that I had been elected when he retired. There was so much pressure. The meetings. There was nothing casual about them. It was like being in an arena, fighting for your life. But your weapons were words, your shields were deals, and victory was determined by who was willing to be the dirtiest. I got to the point to where I thought I could either please my father by using underhanded tactics or displease my father by remaining the noble man he taught me to be an impossible position so I chose instead to please yourself no actually I chose instead to be honorable we ended up losing much of our position my father was very upset with me. He said that I was a failure. I explained to him that Same. I kept to the honor that he taught me not to lie or to cheat. And he, he said I was a fool if I believed that those rules applied anymore. He said there was a nuance, that there was a gray area. <laughs> First time he had ever spoke of it. I would have asked more of him, but he was imprisoned for the debts that we had accused, and unfortunately he died there. It was only a matter of time before they came for me, and so I had to abandon my home, my estate, and my family name, and I ran to the west. I made a promise to myself 
that I would never follow the truth and narrow path again. That I would live like everyone else in their heart of hearts, dirty and desperate. <laughs> and I stuck with that for years. But now that I'm no longer a young man, I can't help but feel if maybe my father is a flawed man, but he taught me well, and then maybe I lost myself in the moment. Things to think about, I suppose. Well, at least your father got a honorable dad. I never met mine. He left when I was young. Some like second mission or something. I don't know. But he left us, me and my mother, back in Three Kings. Uh, I had to survive with what we have. I learned to be to take to, to play. I did it for her initially to, to calm her sadness and she and I don't know where she is now last time they got me and her they take me they take me in a boat and I don't know what happened to her I could try to find her for you you said three kings, I. Yes. Well, what's her name? Susie. What's her What's her maiden name or surname? Lucy Water. No, write that down. Three kings. Does she look like you? Black hair, angular features. Yeah, she has big boobs. He'll underline that and giggle to himself. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. No wonder you're yeah, so I damn Yeah, I got her cool. beauty. Marsha! Yes, my lord. Take this to the courier and have him send it over to the... Um, uh, to the, uh, the Falcons, I think. Whatever the whatever that detective, what does it call them? Uh, the detective agency, my lord. Yes, whatever. The, the fucking people that find. Yeah, that. Send this to them and have them. Oh, and give them some gold to get started. We're gonna find Simon's mom, wherever she might be. be glad if you do that I still feel ashamed that it's my fault she got captured I was the magical one they were just jealous jealous of my talent the people there they were so jealous yeah, that's the way it's it goes. niche on me people get you cannot jealous. appreciate talent what I see in you, Lander. I can see your talent. Just as me. People do be uh, jealous. Oh. Yes. They want to take you down. Because they don't understand. They Artless. Want, they want what we have. They want to be able to get it like we do with the skills that we have. They sit there in front of their journals, writing to themselves, telling them, Oh, I could do it better. Oh, why do I have a life where I'm so distraught, blah, blah, excuses. People that sit around and judge others what they themselves do not even attempt is some of the lowest brow cowardice I think there is. 
standing on the sidelines, sneering and jeering, pointing out how those with the courage to try fail. How easy it must be to sit there and judge others when you do nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. I feel sorry for those idiots, those people that know neither victory nor defeat. Uh, it gets well. my blood boiling. Uh, let's do some lines of black silver. <laughs> sure. Okay. That's a that's enough of the soppy handshake. Ah, see nobody saw the backstory coming. Yeah. <laughs> I still hate him. Good. <laughs> no, I, I like that he is more you, than just You are a hater. That's fine. Was. Obviously yeah. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> He can afford, uh, afford so much food to become just that misunderstood, fat. Just misunderstood artists, yeah. 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 Like all artists, misunderstood. <laughs> what? <clears throat> all right. What was it Weaver was trying to do with the with the gems and silk? Oh, he was wanting to the see if, Simon has. He, he was wanting to see if they um if they were gems that the said he was waiting on so that you could turn them in to get a reward instead of just selling them. Ah. Yes. Speaking of which... <clears throat> Next, please. Uh, I'll walk up with the uh, chess and Elsie. I assume who was there in line whenever we were RPing. Yeah, I'd say so. Hello, so... sir. How can we help you today, sir? While we were out in the forest, we came across a caravan that was waylaid and, well, unfortunately we found zero survivors, but we did find their cargo. The direction of the caravan seemed that it was headed here. We were just wondering if there were any shipments of silks and gems so that we could at least complete what they were trying to do. Very good, sir. Let me check my records. Mm. And he will very slowly start to look through his records, moving the paper and parchment almost in slow motion. Weaver's just going to twiddle his thumbs. One of the other druids will walk up. Hey, Gek. What you doing? I'm looking for proof of mercantile administration. How are you doing, Toral? Oh, I'm doing all right. And no, my name is not important. Um, but uh, I was wondering something. How'd the date go? It was not very good. She was not very clean. One of her fingers were too long on her hand. It was very distracting. Man, Gek. You're gonna have to get over that kind of stuff. People just have those little, those little things about themselves. She was also married. Whoa! Why'd you bury the lead? It wasn't the thing that bothered me the most. I see. Oh, hey, did you hear the one about? Uh, uh hey, I got a joke for you. Okay. What is it? Why didn't the skeleton storm the castle? Um, I'm, I don't know. Why not? Because he didn't have any guts. I'll see you later, Gek. That was so funny. <laughs> All right, sir, I apologize. We like to have a little fun around here. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's your parchment. It looks like that we did not expect the shipment that you're looking for, sir. But the 
it would appear that the markers, maybe the traders' marks. Apologies, I'm, I'm a little stupid. The traders' mark would indicate that there is a merchant representative that might be able to reward you for returning their lost supplies that they can be appropriately shipped out. I can provide that service for you, sir, and make sure that you are paid at random. I'm gonna look at Elsie, and the face that I'm making is, what did he say? <laughs> uh, um, it sounds that someone was expecting that shipment of... Uh, out of curiosity, did the shipment say that it was just silks, or anything else with it? I only recognize the maker's mark, sir. We're not privy to know everything about all of the cargo shipments. We do allow some level of discretion. But I suspect it is because, well, you hear things through the grapevine. It's not all jokes about skeletons. That was a good joke. That's him laughing, by the way. Because yeah, no, I we I feel like we figured that out. Okay. <laughs> um, if it's all the same to you all, would we be able to just deliver the straight to them? If you wish, sir, here is their address. You'll find them in the southern part. The maker's mark has a large white tower on it. And the overlaying outer shell is that of Sephira, the city of Sapphire, sir. See. Thank you very much. Very good, sir. Next, please. Hey, Gex, I got another joke for you. Hold on, sir. Screak. What is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Do that. <laughs> that was too what much. do you call a skeleton comedian? A funny bone. Okay, so you wander off in the background. Yeah, it, it might not be about skeletons, but I do have one about a constipated accountant. Is it? Um, uh, Arcadium? Yeah. <laughs> what was the, the name of the uh, veteran guy? From for me? Oh, the. Uh, Isn't it like Joseph? Or the, the old like the old guy that doesn't want that. I'm gonna ask if he oh, might. Uh, oh. It's like Ozen. Ozo. I oh, know it's Tozen. Is his name? Tozen. Mm -hmm. You're right. No then. Arrows. <laughs> oh, it's not Joseph. No. It's... Not having a visible image, you also are so happen to be named Joseph. Can you write that down somewhere? Please. Alright, I'll take that bet then. There. There. I was right. Mm. Two guesses, at least. Oh, uh, all right. Thank you. Is the last name M. Tozenum. No, oh, the last name's actually my mouth. Uh, 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 uh. I'm glad everybody's having a good time. <laughs> Shout out to Storm Match. What? We, we at the Glory Stream support <laughs> Storm Edge and all of her endeavors. What a nice lady. The Glory Scream? <laughs> the Glory I want a Glory Scream, but I have no Glory Dream. <laughs> oh, God. What? No. Are Weaver and Elty going to do their thing? Because I can't kidnap her while she is actively doing something else. Do you guys want to resolve your thing? Okay, I mean, yeah. you, you guys go to the merchant, um, you find him, uh, you find that he bears the symbol of the White Tower. 
on his uh, merchant regalia. Uh, he is a merchant from Safira, the city of sapphires. As you approach, he will look at you and go, uh, yes, how can I help you? Um, you're not elves. At least, no, we are not. not all the way. What, uh, what do you want? Uh, While we were on our... Oh, ladies first, go ahead. No, nope, H before PD. About goddamn time. While we were on our way uh, back to the city, we came across a caravan that seemed to have been waylaid and unfortunately uh, put to death. But we recovered the supplies that they were transporting, and the mark appeared to have been from you. We spoke to people at administration. Hold on, let me go through my records. Of course. Ah, here we are. The caravan wasn't ours, but we did have some shipments going through it. It is unfortunate that they were killed. That's horrible, but... Thank you for recovering our goods. We have a standard finder's fee of 10% of the uh, total wealth and value. Hmm. Okay. That seems fair. Generous enough. And if it also makes you feel a little bit better, the the people responsible for it have been uh, summarily executed. That is good to know. And he will hand you a hundred gold, Weaver. There you are. You'll find his feet. Wait, before he hands it to you. You don't work for Lander, do you? Who is... I'm going to look at Elsie like, what? I recognize that name. We don't work for Lander, do we? No. uh, We know Lander, but... uh... Only in the passing sense. Good. I will not deal with that swine. He caused our family so much suffering when he left. I hate that I have to be in the same city as him. So these... This money will in no way make it back to him. Yes? Correct. Alright, he will give me 100 gold. If I may be so bold as to ask why... What happened in here? That blubbering, bundering fool ended our father. Or more specifically, the, pa- <laughs> the patron. <laughs> I was drinking water. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You're his brother? No. Uh, it's a it's a southern term. It means the, the father... The patriarch of our family. I'm a cousin. Specifically, I'm the younger brother's son. So we are cousins. But Ah, okay. Uh, the point is, is that our house fell nearly into ruin because of that blubbering fool. Oh, Lander's the... The... Large is a very nice term to put it. Large man that floats around the city. Yes. yes uh... He goes here, spends the wealth that he stole from our estate openly on whores and drugs and drinks and just destroying himself and what little dignity he might have had given to him by our family. One of the reasons I'm here to act as a merchant attaché into the City of Glass is to keep an eye on him to make sure that he does not further disgrace himself and our family. He thinks that because he doesn't use the family name and that he introduces himself only by his first name, that somehow that alleviates him of any responsibility. It seems even in defeat he still is as slimy and disgusting as possible. And what would your family be, Lord? High tower. Points to the tower mark. Of Sephira. But one of the great families. You don't know of the great the... families? I apologize. Not from Sephira. Ford. And I'm from the Pale City. We don't really oh, get around to yes, Sephira well, that much. Well, we're about as well known as as the parapets. Uh, the Sacred Vow, uh, 
the lantern bridges, any of those. So, if I may ask one more question, you are clearly a busy man, Lord Hightower. The people who had waylaid the caravan had a missive on them that told them to go to Safira. Y yes. That's... What? Y yes. As I no, told you. No, the bandits. The bandits. I mean, I apologize. And I will pull out the paper. Do you recognize anything from this, my lord? Let me see it. Of course. Hand it to him. This is odd. He'll then turn the letter around. This... This bears my family's mark. He'll then, I will... he'll then place it on... He'll place it on the desk in front of him, and you will see he will light a small match, and he will rub it on the back, revealing a secret in the parchment. You will see the mark of the high tower revealed as he rubs the charcoal against it. Hmm. Interesting. But, but why would they be given to bandits? That doesn't make any sense. Perhaps it was taken because of this, and I'll produce the glory stone as well as the dueling sword. He'll look over each, and he'll stroke his chin. Why would my family want their own supplies stolen? That doesn't make any sense. Wait. No. He couldn't have sunk so low as to rob his own family. that bastard. Are you speaking of Lander? His name came up from the bandits while we were fighting them, saying that he owed the bandits money. Is this true? No, it's... Just... Yeah. Uh, it's in my notes. <laughs> that is I correct. assume so. Uh, okay. That was the other okay. way around. No, that the, the money no, no, no. was owed by the bandits. No, no. Lander owes the bandits money, which is something that was said before you guys killed them. Ah. I'll shut my horn off then. Matters I don't know if we ever heard that, though. I think he said it to Simon. Oh, I mean... I said it out loud. Yeah, it was... That's true. Yeah. I was right next to the guy when he said it to Simon. Yeah, I don't remember I where, you, where you were when that was said. Mm. That, that was an important dialogue, so it was heard by everybody. Okay. It was Just global dialogue. Sure. Hopefully I'm not talking out of my ass. I, I'm very No, proficient. you're correct. You're correct. Okay. <laughs> what makes matters worse is that bandits weren't ordinary bandits. They seemed to be former church members. One of them seemed to have the skills of a knight. You've brought a lot to our attention. I shall have to correspond with my superiors. Here, as he puts another 200 gold on the table, your information is certainly worth this much. Thank you. Is there anything that we could assist with as we are first contact with these people? Be silent about it. The last, thing we've, the last thing we want is for that cur lander to catch wind that we know. The day is finally here. He has stepped over a line in which he can never recover from. I look forward to the day when that fat tub of lard is finally set to flame. I imagine that he will burn quite hot and for quite a long time. Our 
silence has been made clear. Good. Thank you. We will inform you whenever we have need of you once more. Of course. We will be headed to the southern docks, too. We may be gone for a few weeks. Just so you understand. I understand. A good day to you, my lord. Good day. Ooh, the plot thickens. So, did we just accidentally uh, trigger a coup of a loan shock? Mm Mm-hmm. Not my business. I was just there to get paid, and we got extra money for it. Okay. But what does interest me is the fact that on the missive for the bandits, that was the call to tournament. Yeah. I think maybe it might have been something other than a call. Maybe some hit a hidden missive or something. A missive within a missive. A sub missive, if you will. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, I'll see um, this. I think at this point to sort of try to make sense of what the fuck just happened. <laughs> All right, so Elsie and uh, Weaver wander back from their new revelations, and uh, Fane learns Chromatic Orb. And then during his Go break, on. he sees Elsie. Yeah, I'll pull Elsie aside, away from whatever threads Weaver is trying to spin. Uh, don't worry, I w- I hand you fifty gold. This is your share from the silk. Uh, yeah, I'm not question, but... No. What's up? What? Huh? I also gave LC 50 What? Thank you. I was just saying return to its rifle owner. Bit. Yeah. Um, Fane will walk and talk with LC. Hmm. Uh... What's let's, up, friend? Let's just walk. The city is calming and studying is the smaller distraction listen to me LC I have been trying to make sense of a, a great host of things mm. myself and my place traveling these paths my anger at the Mithrians and in that reflection I've been looking at the people I've surrounded myself with. Make no mistake, I think it is a good thing that you are here. But what does the future look like to you? With the others, it is selfishness, anger, senses of duty. But with you, I'm at a loss, and... Finding answers for questions I could just ask is a bit pointless. So what is your place in all of this? With the druids and your past in the Pale City? With the docks in the south and the Mithrians, And truly, eventually, to the Isle of Mana? What are your stakes? Uh, also this take a while to think on that just sort of ask that question herself because she hasn't really thought about it and then truth be told Fane I can't answer of 100% certainty whenever I was captured I was content to die There were a, uh, some unusual circumstances, even for the Pale City. I believe you know some some of them from the the boat. You know. Uh, 
Seeker Curus, my mentor. He was a uh, a bad lax of a man, and a very devoted but very brutal teacher. When I was, quote, wanted for his murder, there are a few people that I was living with in the same time, and some who were unfortunately revealed. They were a family four. And it turns out they were two uh, cooperating elves and uh, two halflings pretending to be their children. In order to get them out of the city, I uh, traded myself in. I was quite happy to die knowing that they were out of the woods, so to speak. Out of the frying pan, even if they were about to jump right into a fucking fire. Then we got brought to a cross, and then we died. Oh, not that we'd know it at the time, but I was happy to be dead. And now, I'm not. There's so many things here that I'm very fucking confused about. We have been deemed resurrected by a god who seems to uh, view us as some sort of piece in the grand game. The Mepharians are still trying to exercise control over everything, even though that they're losing a battle, but quite frankly, they deserve to lose. And right now, the only thing I want to do is make sure that I'm still standing for the next blow that comes. Because everything that's happened, that cave, seeing a huge golem of gestalt flesh stitched together in crystal, watching druids be tortured and killed by a a knight who had only so much power under his belt. Everything else that happened, that fucking deathquake, that's, I'm still not sure how that happened. The fact we made an angel. I don't care about any of that. The only thing I'm worried about is keeping myself standing so I can see what the next thing comes from. Long term, I'd be happy to take down the church, but... I can only guess what the fuck is going on, because I'm not exactly 100% sure of it myself. I'll nod, I'm listening attentively. Uh, head cocking to the side at the mention of Seeker Curious. My point is exactly that, Elsie. If you're only will to live is to find your balance before the earth shifts again. Why risk? There is safety here. Look around you, look at the people's faces. I'm sure there are in some respects a mirror of those in the Pale City, is safe in the warmth of their light. The people here don't prepare as if war is on their doorstep, despite the fact that it is. So if you wish to avoid that upheaval, there are safer ways of going about it than traveling to the south and risking your life. How many of them are effective? How many of those can you be so sure of? Because, like you said, the people in the City of Glass are bathed in warmth. Ignorant of the war, perhaps just willfully ignoring it because they quite honestly don't think it will concern them yet. Or at all. I really don't know why I'm doing this. I'll be point blank. Because, you know, I'm not exactly good with words. But that light you so you spoke of in the Pale City. That was not 
genuine warm light, would you say? It was cold, desolate, and... It leaves you hollow more than anything. You bathe in the light and it just drinks you in. It wasn't... I... You were not living up there. No one lives up there. They survive up there. Here, it's... A little bit more honest about it. There seems to be genuine revelry and... Embracing of the freedom that they have. Hell, there's skinwalkers here. People are free to sort of use magic within reason. But no one's in chains. No one's going to be burnt at the stake here. I don't want to see that go to waste. At least, not if there's anything I can do about it. And he'll nod along, uh, sort of actively taking in the words as she's saying them. And don't mistake my questioning for anything other than curiosity, Elsie. I do not question your place alongside us. I do not question your motives or what it is that you do as we have all struggled in finding that I find myself thinking of the things Lauren said to me in that cavern and I understand that to quantify an interaction like that with anybody else is difficult but there was always in that a question of faith and Again, to quote him, a war is coming and soldiers with conviction are needed. You'll sort of catch your eyes and keep your look. I just want that conviction to be true and not a reckless uh, obligation of circumstance or self destructive behavior. I don't want you to waste the life that you were given when it was given to you again. She'll think on that. Well, the way I see it, this Lorne gave this life for a purpose. And as it right now happens, two of the people who were there with us on the mount, they're no longer here with us. One was driven mad by darkness, and the other walked into fog to forsake himself. Yet, I don't think that Laura took away their lives. Rather, just let someone else, or something else, do the work for them. I assume the same applies to all of us. It's our lives, and what we do with it is whatever we damn well please. I'm not going to be destructive or uh, callous with it. But right now, it's mine to do as I see fit. And right now, I think that the best way would be to, uh, make some of my fairy knights suffer. Whatever that's by, hmm, I don't know. Make them into a human butterfly, or just force them to starve and wonder as they would make anyone else do in there if they were to 
people with the upper hand in that situation. He'll nod. Well, I don't know if I'll speak to the others on this. Their motivations are a little more clear, a little more selfish in many respects. But with you, I wanted to be sure. You tend to weigh in when the options are cast, but I wanted to get to the heart of it. And I want you beside me when we are doing these tasks that have been set for us. But most of all, I don't want to see the light leave your eyes again. Shane, you realize that death is going to happen regardless. Don't need to be a druid to know that death is a cycle. Life is chaotic and beautiful. Death is finite and blunt. They're a cycle of each other. Death follows life, life follows death. It will not matter if you're there to see the life bleed from my eyes. I think the only thing that matters is what you do, is what's happening whenever the light really does finish. The cycle continues. Oh no. There's many things still left to consider, but I'm happy to have you here. And before the rest of them go off making O's or going on benders or gotting somebody for looking at them the wrong way, we probably should get back to them. They are chaotic and beautiful. But they are our purview to try and rein in at times. Yeah. Oh, it's just common sense at that point. <laughs> I mean, don't forget, we were traveling with a, uh, a shapeshifter who had willingly shot down a grandfather and his son uh, without provocation. They will wince bodily. Also traveling with someone who... Uh, in the heat of battle, saw fit to uh, insult the Chimera's testicles and succeeded that. We're traveling with someone who's headstrong and not really confident, but someone who's more. You should take pride in themselves more than anything. And we're also dealing with someone who's, uh, I'm pretty sure may have, uh, uh, contracted me in the orchestration of a kidnapping and possible abduction slash interrogation slash torture. It's a mixed group, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, because I don't smile... think we've been nerfed the whole thing. <laughs> a smile will tug at the edge of Fane's mouth. Uh, yeah, uh, I suggested you for that one, but. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's a weird group. But to answer the question that you seem to dance around. I have faith in them. They may be self-serving, but they're honest about it. And I have faith in you, and I have faith in myself, because, well, uh, gestures just during the smoking hot potty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, he'll audibly blink and not follow your gesture. Look at her oh, boobies. Make a wisdom saving throw. 
Fuck. Damn it, that passes. <laughs> I don't have a magical DC. <laughs> I've got the charisma of a potato. Oh, like. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I was going to transition back to the other people I thought you were done. It's all good. Oh. Let's get back. This is getting a wee bit too soppy for my liking. Things must not become drenched. Merely moist. Yay! Don't walk away. <laughs> Just a faint echo. Yay! Hello. Oh, did you hear that? Yes, he does that. He? What the fuck? Alrighty, so at this point, <laughs> the party meets back up. And what Naughty. would you guys like to do next? Oh. Uh... Finish selling the random shit that we got from those dudes. Okay. Uh, in our notes, we have a list of everything. Well, I have a list of everything. Uh, let me remove the pit wrap spikes. To sell this. masterwork wounding sword. Uh, the lockbox isn't there either. Everything else. The lockbox is not there? Oh, yeah. So I'm in it. Yep. And the fine silk was turned in, yes? Uh, yeah, correct. No, all right. that so, 100 gold for that, because you got 10% of it. Um, so that's... I'm going to double check that real quick. Let me go look with my eyes. No, do it with your nipples right now. Okay. Nipple pinchy. Do las cabluli, talas distos nipple pinchy. Anybody? Anybody got merchant kit? Uh, Simon. Roll it for me, yeah. please. Do you have trigger mastery? Uh, no. Okay. Roll it for I me. I have then. fame. He does have fame. This is from yep. Super Persuasion. I think. Putting the wrist in charisma. Oh, I can use my feature. Road Vintage. Mm -hmm. Abrofision. And you can inspire it, because your base exposure is five because of the fucking shoes. It's eight, actually. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wanna see these shoes? <laughs> I'm gonna back clip. So, are you inspiring that roll? You can't, yeah, he, he, he can't do that. That uh, oh. the, the roll takes too long. That's fair. It's, yeah. not, it's not over the course of one round. Um, but that is enough to sell everything at uh, at least fair market value. So that's going to be. Fourteen hundred gold. Nice. Divided by six is two thirty-three thirty-three for everybody. I'll go back and log the stuff for Caspian as well in a sec. Uh, Chromatic Orb cost me 50 gold, so I'm like this. Doing this. Alright. Do we want to buy anything before we leave again? Slash, does anyone want to spend time doing anything? Um, think. Oh yeah. I when we all get back together, I will tell you what I found out about the other place. Why the 
The white flames, the braziers. Ah, yes. Important mechanical things. Yes. Uh, what was mm. it you were told? White braziers power the materians? Yeah. He saw the white braziers. They are heavily guarded. And they be right back, Bath, while you guys uh, them. while you guys talk out some stuff. Be right back, Bath. Yeah. Uh, Bracer is heavily girded. Yeah. Yeah. I spoke with some of the skinwalkers. And Suckles as incredibly uncomfortable he is to be around. He does have a lot of connections to others. And I thought, since everyone here is so blissfully ignorant about the war that is in front of their door, I might as well get some people with prowess together. Hmm. Well... I think if it can't be helped, um, I could do some research into these flames. We still have the uh, Tomb of Nefaria that we... Well, I say we. I liberated from the uh, camp. Yeah. I hope. <clears throat> sure. And cross-reference it with what is on record for the library here and possibly find a way to corrupt them, at least. Maybe well, he, he said he came here through that place on his own, as far as I could tell. Through the water. He is uh, uh, a skinwalker of alligatorkin. Therefore, he swam. When when he made his way through, he saw the knight. I have to kill as well. He said he looked taller than normal heights, which is a bit concerning. He didn't get a good look, though, for he was respectfully running for his life. As we have also done many times. He mentioned the braziers with the white fire, and they're heavily guarded by them. Oh, he didn't. He couldn't tell me how they were empowering them, if it was of magical means, or absorbing, or physical. But... Maybe we should definitely look into those. Because it seems like if we do want to get to them, we're, we need to deal with those first. And we'll know. We need to know. This is a development we did not have prior. Elsie, you have mm. the tome. I'm sure we could ask here if there is uh, any militant observations of these braziers. Take it from two sides. There's another thing he mentioned, which plays in with the things we have researched before. He said there's unnaturally dense fog. And it did not feel good to be there. Cursed. Mm. But uh, he mentioned fog specifically. So. Either something is causing it, or it's an environmental effect that is just present. He also described it more like a graveyard, which we already know, but if it has the visuals of a graveyard as well, that's something to keep in mind. Hmm. It is prepared to make plans without knowledge. The brazier is being a target makes sense. Uh, if it is a curse or some malady as we su suspect it to be, the braziers might be their defense against it. Something holding a barrier against the fog and its ill effect. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to research and combat that specifically would help. Mm -hmm. Could it be possible that the braziers are causing the fog? I... It could be very likely. I think the reports suggested a fugue over the south before the Metherians got interested in it. 
if the timeline of the research makes sense, I think it predates it. Which is why I think the braziers might be a defense. It seems that the city, at least some of its populace, are aware of the Metherians there, yet don't treat it in any capacity. It might be under presumptions that that curse will afflict them. The Those fog might also cover them from prying eyes. For he only saw because he was quite literally inside in the center. Mm. He did not I'm... seem sick or have any injuries from that that he mentioned or that I could see. So I'd say short term exposure does not injure somebody. Though we should keep in mind that if it's fog, being in it too long might be bad. Inhaling it as well. We don't want to have another melon accident. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I'm back, by the way. Welcome back. Welcome back. C continue shuddering. <laughs> oh. Ugh. 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 <clears throat> On the other hand, would both of you be interested if I get some of these people together to maybe train them a bit? I have somebody that is that I recommended to check out who is more of a veteran when it comes to training other people. Hey. But it would be good to have somebody that specializes in magic and someone that specializes in martials. At least, I, for a fact, know that you, Elsie, are very good in not being seen and ambushing. That... Yeah. Sounds like more of a long-term goal, no? Well, not, not right now. First, I also need to see what people actually are interested in, you know, living up to who they are and are willing to defend something trying to keep instead of just rotting away here being unprepared of what's to come I, I think there is two steps to this the first is to make a difference consequential enough that our voices will be heard within the circles here and in that helping arm those willing to take up arms if you can get this veteran on your side to at least spread word and gather those that have the right blood to take the fight and to defend their home when we return it is an avenue to draw attention of the druids to have them support and back actively militarizing against the church instead of sporadic attacks and maintenance of circles with not enough souls to defend them. Well, I don't put much trust into the druids here, considering how they're running the city currently. If, if anything, it will take too long for them to do anything about an attack that is probably already prone to happen at one point. Which is exactly why step one needs to come before step two. Bring them the head of the watchful knight. Bring them survivors, refugees. Put the danger that has been averted at their doorstep and maybe they will be more keen to avoid it getting that far again. Exactly. They're complacent. But for them to listen to us and for change to be made a couple of skinwalkers and a trainer is not going to change much. But a group of individuals who have forced the light from our shores. Maybe then we can get a conversation going. No, oh, I wasn't going to just go there and ask him for it. But you have the same idea. A statement must be made. And for that, we'll see what's going on at that harbor. 
But for that, it also needs to be successful. So, yes. The first steps first. Researching what's going on about those white flames and braziers is the best we can do before we go. Hello. Indeed. Uh, Sounds you might be jumping the gun with this independent resistance alliance. Too obvious? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'm choosing to ignore that with a lot of my <laughs> willpower. I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't hear. I just had somebody come into my room. Good. Anyway, uh, I think we're taking some time to see if we can research references to white braziers uh, and what their uses could be. Sure white thing. White flames, uh, judgments, protection. Sure thing. Sure thing. So, how many days would you like to spend on that? Uh, mm, let's start with two at base. Because we also have the Mepharian book that I got from the the camp okay. uh, before we hit fourth level. Investigation checks, then. Okay. Oh. Uh, burning versatile mastery for these, so... Advantage? 20. Uh, could I arcana instead of investigation? Negative. Sad. One. <laughs> Mazakine forgets why they were there. Pain <laughs> also forgets why they were there. And then they find each other. Oh! Hey, okay. Mazakine, you want to go to the meat bucket? They've been there already. <laughs> no, no, okay. even, are you telling, me you, are you e telling e me you didn't like it? Even better. Fane is cornered in the library by one of the druid administrators who wants to tell them the sick joke that he heard. Maz <laughs> Mazakine, unfortunately, encounters... Suckles inside the library as well, who's currently researching sick new tats. Unfortunate. Elsie, however, is able to avoid shenaniganry and persona level fucking event <laughs> events. And uh, you're able to study a little bit and find out the following. The white braziers, or the white flame braziers, are supposed to be hallowed flames that increase the potency of hallowed casting and hallowed exposure in the area. It also invigorates those that are filled with the light of Metheria. <clears throat> uh, the braziers mechanically give bonus hit points to all Metherian followers within a large radius that's measured through the course of miles. Or not really miles, but like whole maps and whole areas, basically. Yeah. Okay. Mm. For those viewers watching, you witnessed this whenever Sagas and Solaces went to go and steal some stuff. Yes. Oh, God. Mm. Uh, is there any record of how to combat these flames slash destroy them? Uh, oh, put them out. Knock them over, you know. It's just normal fire. N normal. Well, it, well, it, it's not normal. It is magic fire, but it can be defeated as fire can be defeated. It needs to be fueled. You know, you throw enough water, you can put it out. It can be dispelled since it's magical by dispelling magics. Things like that. Ah. However, such flames are hallowed places and are obviously going to be well guarded. Yeah. No, we know that, fortunately. Possibly, but... The fact that it focuses on hollowed magic and those in, with the light of the fairy is interesting. Is there any mm. references to uh, possible corruption of said flames? Or the braziers themselves? Yes. Or would that be another check needed? That'd be another check. So do that on the second day. So go, ahead, okay. go ahead and roll for that, everybody. Yeah. I'm also doing things. 21. <laughs> Slightly better. Hang on. I should have learned a spell. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> to corrupt a hallowed flame is possible, but it would require insidious ingredients. Or for you to be the cursed well prestige class, T. Hmm. Level us up then. Oh god, please. Hmm. 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 
buy the premium battle pass now. Buy, buy the premium battle pass now. And reach in the secret <laughs> subclasses earlier. Very nice, <laughs> yes, a battle pass. <laughs> Turns into Nora. Uh, I think <laughs> Simon said he wanted to do something. Yeah. Alright, yes. what's Simon doing? Yeah, I'm gonna... Begin with the battle pass. Sorry. <laughs> so rude. Well, last time I came to to City of Glass, I led the... My disco balls, remember? Oh, right. Yes. I want the, to speak to the same guy. The balls. Yes. I, I want to add the gems to it. Oh, God. I want to put the warrior cut gem in my testicle, please. Thank you. What a nice cum shot. I'm sorry. Alright, where's the base item? Where the fuck is it? Notes? Let's see here. Wait, have you had the item made yet? Like, completed? Or are you just adding something to it now? Um, no, I didn't. Okay. It's not made. That was the plan. Oh, oh god. I have to go find where I put the... the balls. Yeah. Look for them. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you have your order put somewhere? Like, oh, what wait, did we didn't have... No, wait, sorry. I didn't, we didn't have time last time, so I had to make the order again. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, can you just drop the... Uh, what, what did you want to make? Let's just go through the whole thing again. A okay, gear for Lander. So like a robe, a, a coat, um, disco balls. Yeah. Oh right! Oh god! <laughs> now I remember. You remember the gemmed testicles now? Good. The artisan still looks at you just as incredulously, but will add the gem to your order. Just like this, please. Okay, um... <laughs> do you have 600 gold? No. Okay. I will need 600 gold to complete the... Uh... Disco balls. Oh, I'll gladly chip in 300. <laughs> Two hundred thirty-four. is gonna help him out. He's giving him the balls, and you're all giving him the shaft. How typical? No. Eight sixty-five gold. I'll throw in here for sixty-five. <laughs> Thank you, Elsie. Sixty-five okay. gold. Lander's Disco Balls. No, no, no. Disco Warrior Balls. Okay. 
that will be made for Lander. All right, going. That's a long roll to take. Well, I mean, it's it's being made for Lander, so yeah. you don't need to be here, like when it's given to him. Does Simon accept this? Yeah. You, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's something personal for Simon, so. Okay. All right. Uh, is there anything else people want to achieve? Jesus Christ! <laughs> is it going to be magical though when you make I like, it? I like That's how I like how you said achieve. Yes, this was an achievement. He finally got to make his disco balls. I'm proud. Of him. is first. Well, it has a meaning. Russ, please. There's more. There's more. Just wait. I mean, there's a meaning for this. No, don't worry. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm scrolling for the potion prices. Where did I put those? That's good shit, actually. Oh, yeah. Is there, is there anything I can get so that I can't just steal them from my bag? The potions. Like, from thieves? Yeah, like the dude last combat who was just snatching potions off people. A better perception check. Fuck. How do I Fuck. get a better perception? <laughs> God, though. I tie a rope to all my potions. <laughs> Could I get advantage on those perception checks? No. What if I put bells on them? No. Anytime you move, you'll be jingling bells, so it doesn't matter if they pull on one, because it's just going to jingle more. You could probably uh, create a fake potion. Make a poison potion that looks yeah. like a health potion. Uh, yes. You need to know which one it is, though. Change your labels, but don't forget which one. Yep. Yeah. That would be unfortunate. It would be quite hilarious to have somebody steal something that looks like a superior potion of healing. Only to drink. Major poison. <laughs> Imera testicle. Got him, idiot. Got him. <laughs> idiot, dumb, stupid, got him, dumb, stupid, got him. Uh, I don't need getting bolt anymore. Yeah, I don't fight with you anymore. Uh, oh. We should probably uh, fix it for supplies as well. Uh, I know we've had manting, but I don't think we've actually set it out right. The armor is being repaired. Uh, I mean, Caspian and Mazakin can do that. Yes. You just need to tell him. That really Caspian's my Mazakins. Mm. Mm, there was. Caspian too fix my armor since he's not here. He can spend his free time doing that. <laughs> nice. And I'll uh, uh, tap me so if she could repair the single armor rating I lost. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. So, I'll just... Mm -hmm. I'm good on consumables and get charges and all that good shit. I'm ready to leave. Uh, there was something that lets me use potions as a bonus action, or was that only for martial or mundane? For which? You mean the bandolier? A bandolier, yeah. Uh, is you that need something? To... Mm -hmm. Is that something I can get, or is that tied to scent? Like, several? Which thing do you want? Sorry. Bandolier for potions? Oh, that's for light armor. Uh, yeah. So armored rope doesn't... Wait, armored rope is light armor, right? Yeah, armored rope is light armor. Yeah. But it's a masterwork like feature of it. So you have to get like... Ugh. 
Yeah. You can't get that you'd have to on. recraft the no. tier sorry, six sorry. armor. Sorry, you'd have to recraft. Sorry, I, that's the hard rule I put in there. Not. Damn it! Can you just sell some pockets onto it? That help. It hurts. I really want mana weave, but that I would have paid. to re-roll elemental barrage. So I think I'm just going to exist with no armor rating for the rest of this campaign and just hope we don't fight cut weapons. Oh my god. I say because I don't have my buckler, I don't have my buckler anymore. Buckler. I don't have my buckler, buckler, I don't have it anymore. Exactly. I didn't We're... say it this time, fuck you. <laughs> you didn't have to say it. I could feel it seeping out of your aura. Yeah. <laughs> your vibe. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm ready to leave. What's the Irish word for buckler? Probably buckler would be my guess, because some words, they just get really fucking... Buckler. Buckler. The That's German not. word is shield. Oh no, it's actually Bruinskia, which is like anti knife. Let me see. Oh. There you go. Today I learned. Oh no. Today I shouldn't. Nice. Uh, did you say you found the potion prices? Oh, I have them in notes. I'll reply to them. Uh, oh, I see them. Where did I put those? Fifty for a basic heal pot. I thought I posted them here. Am I stupid? Let me check out the notes. Oh no, he put them in. I think they were put in the foundry chat, and then we just put down what we were paying for are everything. Not, are they not pinned in notes? Uh, I think the the masterwork is. Uh, the tiers, but, the prices for tiers, not yeah. proportions. Well, no shucks. There's me being a crackhead. So yeah. we know what basic healing is. I'm 50, sure Spear healing is 750. Purging is 100. Greater healing is 300 apiece based on this. So. Yep. Heroism 350s. Mm -hmm. That's, you can jump to there and just got it from context, but. Yeah, I think we bought all once, so you have the price there. Yeah, I'm good. Alrighty. You want to do that lander mm. RP, Colossus? I mean, how many days are we staying? Yep. Re well, mm. research took uh, two what, days. four days? It took two days. two days. Yeah, two and, days so far. And lander's disco warrior balls is a tier five item, so... <laughs> <laughs> It'll take three more days, I guess. Do you want to take three days, that. Colossus? Yeah. No, I don't think three days will matter. Uh, I'll learn three days of spells in that case. Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna then I'm gonna work, learn a country. Hmm. Out of curiosity, how much or how long would it take to retrain a skill? Uh skill retraining I believe is five days. Same as features. Okay, so... Uh... Because I was thinking if we really need to... I'm not using sleight of hand for anything, so... I could take martial. You can't. You can't train into martial. Only martial role gets martial proficiency. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Yeah, no, which is why we're right. locked out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, Weaver. Uh, Weaver is the only warrior! He is the chosen one. Uh, Arcadum Elemental Barrage will only amplify magic missile darts, like, on one dart, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm not learning wait, 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 wait. That's not how you said it last time. But magic missile and scorching ray are, like, edge cases, right? Like, each it, dart well, would not okay, get so six it, additional dice. It would... But only if you could turn the force damage from magic missile into an elemental damage type. I can do that. Yeah. 
So each dirt would individually gain additional d4 equal to my elemental barrage. No. Yes. Yes. So Thing. a first level magic missile at six stacks. Hold on. Would hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do twenty one d four. Hold on, let me go double check my notes. That would be pretty spicy. I'm pretty sure d four turns to d six. When yeah. you explained it was additional dice, uh, when you gave me the item. In that, like eldritch blast with one stack would deal two d ten instead of one d ten. It wasn't the dice increment going up, it was additional damage dice. Yeah, then it would be 2d4. Uh, per stack? For each dirt? I'm so thinking. I, for, yeah, yeah. Because that would make a full stack first level magic missile deal 21d4 across three targets. Spicy. Nice. I'd, I'd say only the first one. That's what I thought. I yeah. just wanted to be clear. In that case, I'm not <laughs> learning magic missile. Because, <laughs> uh, like, then a second level would be another, like, 28d4, and then third, 35, you know. My god. Which would have been cool, but... It makes sense that it doesn't. In that is case, the, I'm going to learn these three spells. Is magic missile a first level? It is a first level. And I will learn it, just so. Because I don't think I have much other to do in the, the last two days, I will work. Yep. That will cost 50 gold and red. Yes, first level spell. Right. I'll work three days then. Or actually, uh... Would you want me to work, or would you think it would be better if I see if I can get some research into the into the braziers or anything else we can think of in that time? I think we have everything. Like, I think we have everything we can feasibly do outside of seeing if there's record of like Mitharian maneuvers to see if you could somehow gain martial proficiency against that enemy type. But I think that is stretching the bounds of what is available to us. That's fair enough. In that case, uh, how much are 20 arrows? Gold. Gold? Gold. Okay. I'll, uh, that's just my inventory then. But I'll work the rest of the day soon. Uh, does Mazakine have Booming Blade and Green Flame Blade? Yes. Yeah. Bonus action schmacking. Yes. Oh. Uh... Simon, that doesn't cost you anything, because it's a druid cantrip. Ooh. 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 But yeah, uh, so we will wait the three days, learn some spells, and have Lander's disco balls of testosterone finished. Yeah. Yep, so I'm going to learn magic missile first, and then work two days. With the jeweler's kit. And before I forget again, uh, can you roll the the uh, the warlock spell, the the black hand spell? Before I forget again, when we leave the city. Uh, I mean, that'll only matter on days where we have events, right? So it's yeah. better to yeah. to just remind when an event occurs. Otherwise, we're going to stop every travel check to roll the d12 to give you the spell. To, you know. Yeah, or just I don't know, roll this one and keep that one until it's relevant again. Like after. You can cheese it that way, though. Can I? Well, you never could. mind. <laughs> it, it, you, can, you can cheese it by only reminding him rolling for a spell you want and then never mentioning it again. You see, that would mean that I also remember. <laughs> well, the way I do it, instead of rolling it constantly, is I roll it when it matters. So. All right. Whip! Whip! Okay, we're good. Everybody good? Uh, what would Weaver be doing for those days? Weaver 
would most likely try to forward his understanding of the dock with everything that we already know and would gather because he is looking for someone in the south and okay. try and gather information around the city to see if anybody had seen a blue-skinned tiefling wearing the same heraldry that he would be. All right, roll a uh, investigation. You better give it. Actually, dead average. Okay. Unfortunately, you are unable to expand the knowledge of what you already know about this place. Um... Yeah, you guys already know pretty much everything you can learn in the City of Glass about the, uh... About the harbor. Uh, let me roll for... Who's working? I'm working for two days. Two days I'm of work. for two days. What two did days you work. Work. Okay, so... Hundred and ninety four gold. Plus tip plus ten percent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, two days. There's... Anything else you guys want to do? Uh, I, you said that I got no information on either of those things, either the docks or the blue skin tiefling. Oh, I didn't realize those were separate. Um, you can roll for the blue skinned. My, my apologies. I should have clarified. The movements of foreigners are tracked um, stringently by the City of Glass, but there has not been a record of a tiefling visiting in some time, and none fitting the description that you have described. Hmm. And the only information that I have but... would be that she would... You also know that tieflings are probably the most persecuted out of all foreigners in Corvanus, so they would definitely have been in disguise. Fair enough. I'm guessing there's no check I could make to guess what their disguise could have been. I... There's too many options and you have nothing to go on. Right. All right. All righty, guys. Anything else? Nope. I have I rations. So. I don't think we need anything else. That's good, my end. Kits are full. Items repaired. We have the Wayfinder. Ash, get it. Let's go. Uh, find Jeremiah and enlist him to help us boat at least some of the way down. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So be it. You do the RPT part, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Simon, my boy, you've returned. I'm feeling much better than last we met. What brings you back to the soppy handshake, my friend? Well, I'm glad you feel better. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a lot better. Uh, still kind of tired, but... Um, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Last time we talked, it made me think how short it's our lives. A reflection for a bit. And I was thinking about family and things and how, in a way, I got left without a part of my family. And somehow, after we talked, 
I maybe want to get it back. Lander. I have an important question for you. What is that, my friend? You're very... You have... Inspired me. More than anyone in this... More than anyone that I knew. You are very, very important to me. Uh, thank you, friend. Oh. <sighs> Go on. Sorry. Yes. I want to ask you. I was gonna. Uh, Neil? Neil, yes, Neil? that's right. Neil. Neil, okay, Neil, okay. Lander. You're very important to me. You able to be my father. And I offer him the bolts. Did you just ask him father to be never... your dad? Yes. Okay, continue. I want you to be the part I got rid of. The part I always wanted, but I never had. Would you? I, w I want that part of family that I never got. I want it to be you. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. My word, these balls are huge. So plump yes. and veiny. Ostentatious. That's the sign of my love, man. I, I, I never... I never thought I I would ever have a family again. I uh, Oh Oh me ho He'll open his arms. Cut me Dad. Simon disappears into the folds of lard and fat and becomes one with Lander as he grows in girth. Good. Lander featherless. <laughs> He will he will hug you, his jowls and skin sticking to you slightly. I I'm not gonna cry. I will I will put these family jewels in a place of true honor. Let them shine. Everyone have to see them. Well Lander. Sorry. Father. <laughs> I want you to. Well, I have to go. I have to leave. But I have a very important mission for you. Anything. I want her. My, yes. my boy. I want you to get mom safe. Do it for me. I will find your mother and I shall keep her safe. I have sent my most bottom of bitches to see it done. Gonna hug him and he's gonna leave. Farewell. Look. My son. Farewell, Dad. Well. Be safe. He's gonna. You know how he moves? He slowly walks and leaves. You yeah. can see him in the arson. <laughs> Horizon. You can see him the what? I'm sorry. In the horizon. Oh, yeah, right, same oh yeah. It's... Just the silhouette of Simon oh. fading away into the mist. Oh. I'm a father now. It's time to get my shit together. One. Two. Very nice. Three. That was not what I was expecting. At all. That was it's not what I was expecting either. I told you. Your brain hurt. Needed. And the family jewels joke hit me way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> the hey, W man for actually starting to work out though. I was and you were ratting on him. Uh, yeah. Okay, and? <laughs> Don't rat on That's a man when he's trying to get better, you know? He wasn't at that point. That's true. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, rat out time Simon's father? Oh my god. That was the idea. The first time I saw the balls. 
that was your idea? <laughs> yeah, it was funny. <laughs> It's the first time you still it's... saw them on the creature. Colossus, I need you to do the recap next week. Absolutely. Uh, All right. Oh my god. Uh, I, I think you you have signed yourself up for that. Mijo. Bravo. Uh, it just... <laughs> Papa. God, I love signing. I, I said that right, right? That was the right word? I think yes. Mijo. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, see. Yes. Mijo. <laughs> <laughs> Mijo. Now you need to figure out what his last name is so I can take it. Lander is Hightower. We we found that out from yeah, but Simon ratting. doesn't. Simon doesn't know that. I don't think anyone told him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Simon. I don't think Lander he would give him the the last name of the disgraced family. <laughs> I don't think he'd be willing to use it anyway. He might just uh, make up his own name. So he takes yours. <laughs> Smith, Lander Waller, the throwaway <laughs> music NPC that turned out to be a lone shark and an absolute cretin. And a father figure to one of the players. And a father figure. <laughs> yes. No father. And no longer been, the abandoned son. He has been gifted the, the family jewels. You better get some art of the family jewels, you know? Please don't. Have, they will be very veiny. I don't think I can put that on stream. <laughs> oh, it there needs to be on stream. Of the Maybe balls. a reason to join the Verkham <laughs> server. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that all because that has happened, the party sets off on their journey to the south. Yeah, but like you made the item, right? Oh my so God. what does it do? I haven't well, made yeah, it yet. I haven't made it yet. Okay, it, it's what, I don't know what it does. You know, I'll probably it'll it'll probably be uh it, you know honestly it'll probably be the head of a great flail weapon that he'll use in combat and then <laughs> oh, yes. and then when he's not using it he will hang them in the in the main room and they produce music i guess <laughs> like my no, balls no, are singing no they'll, they'll no they'll be humming they're going to hum oh no they're going to be humming balls <laughs> do you have the reverberate properly friend. No, right, right. Vibrate. Oh, yeah, what was the the maggot knights had? Reverberate? Yeah. Yeah. Reverberate. The balls just sing I'm probably gonna give together. them this I'm gonna give them the soppy property. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Creature, creatures that. dealt damage by this weapon become wet. That's it. <laughs> That's, they just they become moist. Mm -hmm. Is there uh an ailment that is similar to trauma? Yeah. <laughs> Shell shock. Madness. Madness. Anyway. <laughs> you have to roll uh, a DC two saving throw or become stunned for a turn. I, I can't Just wait till we hit fail. the end game and we get all the important like NPCs together for, you know, the fuck up the big bad and it's just Lander stood there with dual flails made of giant chimera testicles. Absolutely. Yep. He is super buff, extremely worked out, and is wearing his new name very proudly. And he finally shaves off that fucking hair and admires himself for being bald. Truly an heir to the Hightower name. And then he adopts Caspian as well. Oh <laughs> you know what I could do? I could, just, to just say. I could just give the balls the property that if he rubs them on his head, his hair grows back. <laughs> what do you think would happen if the balls slap a bald man's head? What sound would that make? Uh, it'd probably sound like, uh, yeah, like that. We didn't hear anything. I hope chat did. Please. <laughs> I see. Oh, hold on. It'd probably sound like, mm, let me get some spit on my arm. Like, like that. It ah. still didn't hear. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> no, I, I turned up the stream. I heard it. Anyhow, oh, I yeah. slapped my <laughs> balls as hard as I could. You did not. <laughs> I have no, a feeling he, you did not. You just gave me flashbacks to my brother theorizing a masochistic uh, ball-barian who rapidly ball-tapped himself to rage. And I'm going to move on with the subject because he asked me to mention it. Weren't we talking about that last week? Yeah. It was, it was mentioned, yeah, but it, it didn't was. <laughs> yeah, ba -da, ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm hating it. <laughs> yep, just, so if I ever make a Berserker Barbarian, I'm going to nut tap myself to like crit and then hit people extra hard. So next continent, yeah? Nice. Yeah. I want the world map. Okay? I want it. 
I've been here. Oh! This music. I'm jabbing. Sucking of it in balls. Is there anything I can have Frosus divine while we travel? Probably not. Fuck the uh, graveyard turbo. Not yet. Um, okay, no need to roll because you have a guide. You're using Jeremiah, so... Nice. Nice. Oh! Oh! Ooh, uh, nice. Nice. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Uh, favorable wins. You go faster. Whoosh. I would like a cape of billowing, please. <laughs> oh, I love the cape of billowing. That's my favorite magic item. Oh no. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Almost double. Never Why mind. did you get rid of the 68? <laughs> uh, because I shouldn't have rolled it. Ah. Uh. Well, at a non-determinate point, we stop and speak to Caspian's contact. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... It's 11. 11 scores. Alright, Jeremiah Ooh. has taken you as far as he can. Alright. Uh, how are we doing on rations at this point? Because that's, what, 12 days of travel? Yeah. Oh no, we missed him. the song. Damn it. That was perfect for the moment. <laughs> what do you say, Colossus? Oh. We missed to put the song. Oh. Um, It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, well, I'm fine for rations. Not with the rest of you schmucks. I know Elsie was carrying a lot of them. Yeah, I think 96, but I've lost count because of a few things. Mainly me being a dumb bitch. Who has <laughs> rations in their inventory currently? And how nope. much do you have? Okay. Yeah, I think one I've person been was eating tracking the leather. Group. I think one person was tracking the group rations. Uh, no, I was holding. Uh, it. The number that I have currently for the entire party is that we have another twelve days of ration for everybody. That also includes Caspi. Uh, how many rations do you have, Elsie? Uh, ninety. 96, but that number is very inaccurate considering well, the last updated was forgotten. I see. Yeah, you should be at 72, Rash. Yep. Well, no, you I should be always... at, you personally should be at 73 because those are daily rations for yourself, right? I think it's for the group. Oh, for the group? Mm -hmm. And yeah, we bought a lot of rations. Uh, yeah. then... For a month for the group, we it took, what, two days finding those guys? Uh, so two days there, two days back, so that's four. And four, that's it. And then four and then here. 12, 16. Okay, then we're at 80. But then you said that that wasn't updated since before. I can't remember when we got them. I think Let's be we safe and just say like 75, because it's between 70 and 80. We got yeah. them before we went to the Chimera. Yeah, but that was only a day of travel because we got very good rolls. Yep. That's another two days there and back. All right, survival yeah. checks, please. Yeah, well, we have enough for the session. We'll figure it out after. Okay, we're only check all traits. God damn it. You're, oh, roll I'm... you're rolling privately, Colossus. Oh, I got a seven. <laughs> Uh, do you want to use your inspiration on that one, Masaki? <laughs> we don't have to. Do. Our highest is a 12. Yeah. I think it's still getting no. lost. But no? Alright. Alright, you are lost. 
<laughs> Do you have a compass? Wayfinder, yes. Wayfinder. You have the wayfinder. Oh, you have the way. Duh. Okay, then you're not lost anymore. All right, survival checks, please. Is there any like any chance that since we've been here so long, there I can do them advanced right now? Negative. Damn. That's enough. Uh oh. No. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Uh... Any of you have alchemy? No. Alchemy. Why does the poisonous kid keep coming back? The proficiency doesn't leave my sheet. It's constant. Uh, none of us is back have... alchemy. I didn't think so. All right. No. That, yeah. Then that yeah. doesn't matter. The only thing that I have is a uh, camping. Survival. Probably. I eat. Okay. Survival. 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 That can't happen. Survival. Not that. Okay. It. That's like your third one this session. Survival. Yes. Okay. Survival. We're now at 69 rations for everyone. Nice. <laughs> Survival. Oh, sorry. Ooh, nice. 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 Survival. Hey. Hey. You not a red number for once. Good job, Bazooki. <laughs> Finally, something. Survival. 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 See, after some praise, it immediately goes better. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Right. When you get to about here, the party finds themselves walking on a jungle path that seems to have been cut away somewhat. Up in the distance, they can see that the trees sort of fall away and far in the distance, they can see the coast. And at the very edge, they can see black marks indicating where they believe the graveyard harbor to be. They also see that a great mist has rolled out over the coast. And the very edges of it, kissing the trees. As the party approaches closer and closer... The weight of their decision to face the church and one of its most powerful outposts begins to weigh on them. 
and their mind begins to drift between what evils, dangers, secrets, and perils may yet await them. And as the party continues its travel, it is at this time something strange begins to occur. As the party makes its way, Fane feels a strange feeling. He will turn, and he will see Frosis on his shoulder, staring up, looking all around with its eyes. Well, just cock an eyebrow. Frosis, what, what is it? What do you see? It is not what I see, but it is that we that are being seen. Uh, Fane will shift his vision to look through Frosis's eyes. You see that there is a swirling of magic above you. Faint, but not weak. Like the echo of a great explosion. A ripple from a great wave. It is at that point you hear something. Not so much hear as feel it within yourself. Dangers await in the mists and fog. Uh, suddenly, you begin to see visions in your mind. Visions of death. Visions of the church moving around their encampment. But a vision of something else. Waiting eyes. Someone knows you're coming. And then you hear a voice. Be prepared. You are not alone. We are watching. Fane will tense, reach up towards his staff, uh, shift his eyes back to himself, and uh, with a hand signal to the group to retreat back into the denser foliage. Just... A bit more cover, a bit more patience. Hmm. You see something? I can't explain it. It's a feeling, just trust. Okay. I'm moving to the brush. Nope. Uh, as we walk away. Uh, telepathically, I'll have Frosis look back to where the disturbance was and shift back into his eyes. So he is looking behind us as Frosis, we go into the tree. Frosis has been looking at it the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then softly, Frosis whispers. There's something vain. It's so dry. It is dry like bones. Do you mean the feeling or the presence in the ear? Both, I think. We must be careful, Fade. There is a great shifting of moisture. Each step. Each step would see us barren or drowning. We must stay to the center path. Yay! And so it is with caution that we will heed the warnings of the dry that could be. The dry, we won't fall. Though. The dry that could be and the wet that may yet be.
for all the oddness of your analogies, you have a lot of wisdom, friend. And I will Yay. trust your warnings implicitly. Yay! Yay. Alright. And so the party continues to trek forward. Go ahead, Weaver. I was asking Fane what Prosus was saying, because all we hear is... Uh, Fane would have been speaking telepathically uh, through the link uh, after telling people to get into cover. But it would have been clear by his expression that he was speaking to Frosus, so that's fine. Um, so, what is the plan? Are we yeah. camping here and scouting, or...? First he'll turn to Weaver. Uh, I got a feeling, a disturbance of some kind. Like a... Like a sense of what we were walking into. Many things that were expected. Bones, death, the church. But I got a feeling of being watched. Like there was something that knew we were coming. Something there was a voice. Greater than... Sorry. Something greater than? I am unsure. We... we don't know of the church's intel, and they could be aware of us. It was something I hadn't considered. We... There, there was a voice saying to be prepared that we are not alone, that they are watching. They? They? I don't know. It, it's not very helpful, but the feelings that preceded it were... That's gift route. Just slightly. And look for ambush points. Well, walking straight into an ambush would be our end now. Let me... But five. Sorry. Go ahead, Weaver. Let me see if I can figure something out for us. Uh, Arcanum, I am now attuned to the stone, and I would like to see if I can feel anybody nearby. You don't feel anyone. Hmm. Well, while we're already here, we can discuss what we're going to do about the braziers so we know when we're there. I assume smashing them isn't the best course of action. Well, they're heavily guarded. If you get through to them to destroy them physically, you might as well already won the fight with all the people guarding them. We can extinguish them. How and are we going to was... do that? Well, from what I read, they seem to be like normal braziers, just... Yeah, but but I mean, like, they could be quenched by how are we going to go about it? Uh, I doubt we're going to throw a bucket of water at it from afar. Actually, that's a good point. Fane, can you shape water? To an extent. I, I still think that they're going to be protected, as she says. Correct, uh, but what is fog if not water? Or mist? The mist is not enough to extinguish a fire. What I'm saying is uh, he could shape the water to extinguish could... it, if we're able to get him within range of that. How much range does your, your magic have? Mm, that, specifically, 30 feet. That's not Which that is... far. I think Better than being right next to it. The question of what we will do is determined on how they are protecting it. It is hard to make a plan of attack when we can't identify the defenses in place. Yes, we will destroy the braziers, we will put them out, we will snuff them out. But we have to, to see talk the about people around them. Before we're there, it's too late. If there's really somebody waiting for us there, then we might not get the time to prepare the actions as soon as we've seen what we're dealing with. I think the ambush will precede us getting near a brazier. They aren't going to let us get right on the doorstep before springing in their trap. Do the church or knights or members of the church, their military, do they have a code of honor at all? Not against people like us, no. They feel themselves superior. My oh. experience is often the devotion to fairy that overpowers the call of honor. 
church? Of course, of course not. Because we know that the Stoic Knight is going to be there. Therefore, I would be able to at least buy us some time by offering a duel to You would not have to worry about him while the others are there. I still think our first step should be to deal with this trap that we have been made aware of. Then identify the places of the braziers, potentially through interrogating those that are about to attack us. We need information. And if we can not allow them to know we are aware and to be prepared, we take a lot of the sting out of whatever will happen. Take a survivor, get information. Then we can talk about what we will do with the braziers. Then we can talk about luring away the Stoic Knight. Then we can talk about getting survivors out of the harbor. But right now we are speaking about concepts and constants that we lack surrounding on. We don't One have the time to follow through a plan, but it's better to go in with at least an idea of what we could possibly end up doing. We shouldn't cloud our mind with it, I agree, but going in with no information without an idea of what to do, that's just dangerous. Exactly. It's all I've been saying. I don't care where they are right now, how many braziers there even are. Right. But to know who of us can actually deal with them would be very good to know. Through your research, were you able to find out how big they are? No. That's it's hard to question. tell. We don't know what type of brazier it is. He wasn't very descriptive. Hmm. I assume they're a bit bigger than the ones you usually have around the house. Considering they're outside. Well, if there's a harbor, there has to be a tower to light those braziers. It's probably at a high point so that the ships can see it. If anything, we would have to consider the fact that we're going to be at a disadvantage at the low ground. While we're going to be at sea level, there's still going to be points where they're above us. I haven't even considered that they might be in towers. I thought they are just on the ground built by them to either make the fog or protect them against us. Well, it's not just that. It's also the fact that this used to be a harbor. There are structures there to be able to be seen through light for miles. Lighthouses, yeah, if you will. Yeah, but then only would be one. I have never seen a harbor with more than one lighthouse. Depending on how big it is, it could have two. Stalled. But that's mm -hmm. just one structure to consider with the height advantage. The fact that we're coming into the forest and jungle is both a blessing and a curse. Well, there's also they the could be around us at this very moment. But at the same time, they also may not be aware of our direction whatsoever. Well, they know we're coming from the city, I assume. Either way. Alright, I think this is the best spot to call it because um, Jarzu has some information that's going to help you guys, but he can't get it because he's not here yet. Mm -hmm. So, Got it. you know, not really a good time to make all the decisions until you have all the information. So, Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. that was a good place to call it, I think. <clears throat> Can we still do the, the process board that the Chamber asked about? Which no, one? I put in the... Fender chat. Uh, I was going to ask Frosis to divine more about those aware of our approach. Specifically, uh, how oh, yeah. far away from us they are. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, Frosis will open his mouth and will stick his tongue straight up. Wow. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. And then he will say... There appears to be many church members within the graveyard. More than we ever thought. The mm. mists are unnatural. I think they're being created by them. Or maybe by something else that they're taking advantage of. They know that you're coming. And I don't know how. If it weren't for that warning, I would have never thought to have looked. No! 
Do you have any idea of where this ambush might happen? They are searching for you along the road. It may be the best option to approach from one of the coastal sides. Or take the chance in the mist. And will not. I understand. Thank you, friend. Wait, there's something else. Wow. It's so good. There, there are eyes, Fane. Eyes that see like mine. They're searching for us. No! Are there... Do we have anything available to us to stop divination? Than mundane stealth. The mi the mist. The mist makes it hard to see. We could mm. lose them in the mist. I see. That's all Frosis can see. Yeah. What a boy! I love him. Now we wait for Caspian. Now, Caspian, how do you feel about this? I am bold and finish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, that's a good spot. All right, good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Man, you guys literally right. being warned about the ambush is crazy. Hey, hey. Shout out to Gruel making communications. When uh, specifically told not to three times. Oh, four times. that was good. Many times. <laughs> Do not interact with them until I am back. I could Dylan. not stop you, and I would not know that you were doing it. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it, <laughs> does it? I, I want to meet Cornelius Blackfire. I think if I have one goal for this campaign, it is to meet Cornelius. I know it is unlikely, but I fucking uh, love him. Ah, uh, yes, Cornelius Blackfire. The intrusive thought of Chet. Yeah. <laughs> he, is, he is so good. The Matron of Fate uh, is a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that? Angry again? What are you gonna do about it? Interfere uh, with my fate? Ooh, that's against the rules! I love Cornelius. Uh, this is uh, Lander when Simon comes back. Oh my god. We're doing <laughs> fan art. Yeah. Eat with us, please, Mazza King. Yay! Look at his little shark. Look at his little shark face. Look at him. Oh wait till she gets him like a fish. <laughs> social <laughs> social link up. What? It is dry, Fane. So very dry. He is incredibly dry. Cornelius is. Cornelius, I I know. There's another present. It is so dry, Fane. Dry as a bone. Did you hear that? He said bone. Uh, uh, I I did enjoy Cornelius announcing that he was going to drain his bone as an excuse for him pissing. It was very good. Excellent. Good game, guys. Yeah, good stuff. All right, Chad. great job, Colossus. Yeah, Colossus, mm -hmm. you fucking clap. You did so good. <laughs> that was build up. The Lord drop. Ballin, yeah. but at what cost? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, I will see you in an hour and 50 minutes for Silence and Sorrow.